Winner of three Tour de France stages, three Criterium du Dauphiné stages, a Strad Bianche one day race, and the Milan San Remo monument. What if I tell you all these things have been achieved just in two years? These things took years of years for some people to gather all these tags. Someone has acquired all of these in just a span of two years. Looking bewildered? <laughs> Let's take a look at this person in some more detail. Hello people, welcome back to Cycling Right Now. So today we're back here again with an amazing video. Today we deal with why Wojn van Aert is considered to be the most talented. So stick with the video and watch it till the end to know everything about it. Before that, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and click the bell icon to watch all our latest videos. Let's begin. Wojt van Aert of Belgium, however, has accomplished all this and more in only two years. The 28-year-old rider from Jumbo Visma made the transition to road cycling from Cyclocross, where he won three world championships and has flourished swiftly. What exactly does Wout van Aert do and how would he define himself? Wout van Aert was born in the Herentals, Belgium, in September 1994. Herentals is located to the east of Antwerp in northern Belgium. The city, like the rest of Belgium, takes pride in its cyclists. Among them is Rick van Looy. The first rider to win each of the five one-day monument classics and one two-time world road race champion. As one would expect, young Van Aert spent a lot of time pedaling about. The Belgian initially gained recognition in 2011 when he started racing in several contests in Belgium and won the junior category at Rudervoord. When Van Aert finished second in the junior races at both the national and global championships in 2012, he made the decision to become a professional. He rode in the under-23 category with Telenet Fadia and won the Cyclocross World Cup. Once Van Aert moved up to the elite senior division in the 2014-2015 season, he went on an incredible winning streak, capturing three consecutive world championships between 2016 and 2018. After the 2017-18 cyclocross season was over, he decided to give road racing a try for the first time. When he took his talents on the road, the then 23-year-old showed no signs of difficulty, particularly in the one-day classics. In his first year of monument competition, he placed third on the podium at Strad Bianche and eighth in the Tour of Flanders. That summer, he competed in Glasgow for the European Championships, where he ultimately won bronze. Off the bike, though, things were becoming complicated. His former team was combining with another, and he had terminated his contract without consulting the other party. In 2019, he was finally able to join with Dutch team Jumbo Visma after a long legal struggle in Belgian courts and with the international regulatory body, the UCI. After a spectacular first year in the World Tour, Van Aert won the national time trial title and placed third in two classics. He also placed sixth in Milan, San Remo and won two stages and the Greenpoint jersey at the Criterium du Dauphiné. Due to these factors, he was invited to join Jumbo Tour Visca's The France team. Stage 10 was won by him in a sprint finish, but a time trial collision terminated his season and may have forced him to retire from cycling too soon. Because of surgical mistakes made after he was transported to the hospital with a serious hip and upper leg injury, he had to relearn how to walk. Van Aert has remarked that the crash might have been the end of my career, but he was back on his bike only a few months later to place fourth at the Cyclocross World Championships. Flexibility on the bike, something Van Aert acquired in Cyclocross, has served him well on the road. In 2020, he took home the victory at Strad Bianche, and a few weeks later, he earned his first monument at Milan San Remo. Aside from his two sprint victories in the first week of the Tour de France, he also won a stage on his way to defending his Dauphiné green jersey. His versatility as a climber, time trialist, sprinter and even puncher, a cyclist who enjoys punching, has got tongues wagging. After a string of victories, though, he stopped caring about being categorized. For me, it's not about the label since everyone has their own preferences. The key is to win races, he once stated. He considered himself somewhere in between a sprinter and a climber before the 2020 tour. This is just the beginning too. It's probably for the best that I have no idea how far I can go. After his victory at San Remo, he commented, I'm 25 and it's truly a delight to continue to discover what I'm capable of. 
As a Belgian man, the tour of Flanders and Paris Roubaix are top of my list, and that's what I want to attain in the next years, he said. But I aim to have won a range of other things by the conclusion of my career. Mathieu van der Poel, a longtime opponent. Since Van Ert first started competing, the Dutch cyclist Mathieu van der Poel has been an intense opponent in cyclocross and road races. In 2011, van der Poel beat out Van Ert for the Junior World Championship. Van der Poel is a three-time cyclocross world champion. Both men have benefited from the ongoing rivalry between them. According to an interview with the Het Nieuwsbold newspaper in Belgium, Van Ert said, From the minute I got on my bike, Mathieu has always made it tough for me. He has always pushed me to beat him, and that's how I improved, he said. In the same interview, Van der Poel praised his rival, noting that he had missed our competitiveness and being together with colleagues because of the coronavirus outbreak. Over the years of racing against each other, Wout and I have pushed each other to become better drivers. Is there still more to come from Van Ert, who currently has practically every accomplishment a road rider could want on his palmares, save maybe a Grand Tour jersey or overall win? Most likely. The finest Belgian cyclist from the previous year, who was awarded Flandrian of the Year, now has a second opportunity thanks to the deferral of the Olympic Games from Tokyo 2020 to 2021. After the news broke, he spoke to his team's website and said, For me personally, it boosts my chances of getting picked, since it provides me more possibilities to express myself. Remco Ivanopoul will most certainly be named by Belgium to fill one of the two-time trial positions on the squad for Tokyo. For the last berth, Van Ert would have to beat off some heavy hitters like Thomas de Gent, Yves Lampert and Victor Campanet, all of whom are more experienced and have won more races than Van Ert. However, Van Ert has an advantage since the two-time trial races are also required to be on the country's road race squad of five. Choosing a non-climber for the second position might be dangerous given Van Ert's all-around talent and the fact that his parkours involve climbing Mount Fuji. On July 11, 2021, Wout Van Ert triumphed in Stage 11 of the Tour de France. Since Bernard Hinault in 1979, no other rider has won a mountain stage, a time trial and a group sprint all in the same tour. Stage 21 of the Tour de France was held on the Champs-Élysées and Van Ert was the victor there as well. After a positive test for COVID-19, Van Ert was forced to withdraw from the Tour of Flanders and the Amstel Gold race. The paris Robet race, in which he finished second, was his comeback. After a 13km solo assault, Van Ert won the Omloomp Het Newsbold to kick off the 2022 road season. At Paris-Nice, he not only won the time trial but also the overall points classification. In his first attempt at the Arden landmark Lege Bastogne Lege, Van Ert placed third. Green jersey and yellow jersey competition leaders are both held by Wout Van Ert of Team Jumbo Visma. That's all for this video. Let us know in the comments box did you get the answers to why he's considered the most talented? Like it and share it with your friends to spread this wonderful player. Also subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet so that you can watch more amazing videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications right after we upload a new video. Thanks for watching, we'll meet you soon in the next one.